Many services and applications have been made over the course of many years, and most certainly not every one of them survives the test of time. Today we look back at the 20-inch aluminum iMac from 2007 and the science behind it. Welcome to another episode of the science behind, glad to see you all here. I have a special announcement at the end of the video, so be sure to stay tuned. To start things off, this iMac contains a 2.6 GHz T9500 Core to Duo Penryn CPU using the third generation of Intel's Core to Duo platform. The CPU is actually a year newer than the machine itself, as I installed it for macOS Sierra compatibility since the original processor did not have SSE4, which is a system requirement in macOS Sierra. This machine also contains 4GB of PC2 5300-667MHz DDR2 SD RAM, an ATI Radeon HD2600 with 256MB of video RAM via an MXM slot. The graphics card powers a 1920x1200 resolution 20-inch display. Did I mention, just like in the previous iMac G5 video, I outfitted this newer iMac with a 120GB SSD as well, which is used solely for macOS Sierra. My focus on this particular iMac stems from its stopgap technology generation between old and new. It's not quite old enough to be totally relegated to obsolescence as it can run the most modern operating systems with a few upgrades. It can still take on modern tasks while being several generations newer than the iMac G5 which is less competent at being an internet device. The vague history of this machine starts with an eBay purchase which was listed for parts, and as my luck would dictate, I end up with an iMac in pristine condition. I took the liberty to disassemble this iMac fully and clear out the dust from the entirety of the machine. All of the fan blades, all of the heat sinks, plastics, and anything I could find looked as if it had never been touched inside. Even the CPU warranty sticker was still on, which I later removed when upgrading the CPU. As you can see with the fans being spun up, with the machine booting, there isn't any dust inside the fans to ensure a safe operating environment. The CPU and GPU thermal paste has been renewed, so therefore it should operate at peak efficiency. The internal thermal design system is better than in previous generations, however it still follows the same principle of pulling air in from the bottom and spitting it up back the top. This time, however, Apple has added a small fan in the center of the machine, improving upon previous generations behind the iMac stand itself. Going back to the software side of things, this iMac runs macOS Sierra. This is the most current version of macOS, so you are fully up to date on software, security patches, and applications. By default, this iMac is incapable of running macOS Sierra and can only be upgraded to the T9300 T9500 or X9000 Core to Duo CPUs, which will enable the upgrade. Despite being a mere three years older than the iMac G5, this enables me to use the latest applications. This machine is good enough to play 1080p video on YouTube without an issue. It launches multiple applications in succession very damn fast, giving a hard drive based 2009 iMac or even a 2010 hard drive based iMac a run for its money. All in all, you won't be missing anything if you're looking to do simple things on here, even video editing can be done if you're patient. All of this is possible with a solid state drive. With all of that out of the way, where do I stand on this iMac? I like to believe older technology should still have a chance to be usable and not absolutely everything defined as obsolete by modern terms is genuinely applicable. This iMac is still gorgeous, it's thinner than its predecessors, has beautifully chiseled grills on the bottom, and is all around a gorgeous machine. It's worth keeping for sure. Thank you so very much for watching another episode, I'll see you guys soon. But before I go, I would like to announce that I'm still working on the next 980 Ti and Mac Pro video. It's simply taking a bit longer than I expected because I wanted to buy an Oculus Rift for it so badly that I ended up getting one for it, and it works quite well actually. Stay tuned for this video coming soon. Super Ice Cream Sandwich, over and out.